guys welcome back so today's video y'all already saw the title I have a huge girly haul like I have been hoarding some of this stuff uh, because I haven't had a chance to film um, today I went to home goods so that's new but I have Hobby Lobby that's been sitting here um, JC Penny stuff that's been sitting here Bath and Body Works Victoria's Secret Michaels I got my boxy charm in the other day and then yeah like I said home goods so that's everything that I have to show you guys and then I got a luxury PR package to show you guys too so yeah if you guys are new here then hi I'm Evita I film all things pink and girly sparkly blingy any of that stuff um, on this channel I love anything that's like pretty and sparkly and pink so yeah if that sounds like something you're into, then consider subscribing at the end. I'm not going to carry on too much with this intro because y'all know if you've been here, I talk a lot and my videos are always like very long. Uh, but make sure you grab your coffee, hot cocoa, tea, water, whatever you're drinking. Um, I'm still using Christmas mugs because I just can't seem to put them away. So don't, don't judge me. I am drinking um, donut shop, donut shop, donut shop, donut shop K cup, and I'm drinking sugar free hazelnut creamer. If you guys are um, my regulars and you watch all of my videos, in my last video I was talking about how I was trying to finish up the peppermint mocha so that I can get back on my uh, low carb keto uh, journey. So I did finish it, and I'm back on the sugar free stuff. So. I'm going to get comfortable and cross my legs Indian style. I love this ottoman here because I have more space now. Um, let's see. What bag What bag do I want to start with? Oh, yeah. Also, I'm so annoyed because literally I've been wearing these nails for almost two weeks now. Two weeks. Not one has fallen off. I've been so highly impressed with them. And I just got ready to film. I went to move the ottoman closer and one popped off. So excuse the one missing nail on his hand. But I was going to compliment and I was like, wow, I don't think I've ever had any press-ons that last this long. But if you guys have not heard of um, Dashing Diva, you guys need to try their nails. Let's see, do I have them in this? I do. Um, these are the nails. Um, this brand... So these are the ones I'm wearing right now and of course the little glare from the packaging is gonna try and play games with me right now see if I can open it so I can show you guys but I love it comes in this like little hard case and I think the only thing it does not come with I don't think these come with the glue I think I had to use my own glue which doesn't matter I don't mind but anyway I'm gonna take one tray out just so you guys can see and this is about to be a disaster they're all gonna fall I know it um, anyway they come on there's two trays stacked here um, and then you actually get some more in the in here with the nail foul and the alcohol white comes in here too these are the ones I'm wearing, so that's why there's none actually in there, because they're all on my thingies. Um, but this is the other set. I haven't used this set yet. Um, I'm going to put these on next. This is called Cheetah Charm, and they're like pink and cheetah print. They're so pretty, but yeah. They're called Dashing Diva. I think I saw them on Ulta. I'm not sure. If you guys just search Dashing Diva, they'll come up. Um, and then the other set that I had was called heavenly frost but yeah so these come with like little glue stickers on them and you're supposed to just hold them really hard and they're supposed to like press on but i've had the glue kind before um kiss makes them the impress brand and i don't like them so i always um i peel the sticker and then i put glue on there so i have the glue and the sticker to work with so i feel like maybe that's why they lasted so long because i had glue and the sticker i don't know but I really like them. 
and then weren't like cheap sometimes like the nails like start bending or uh get my teeth marks because i bite them but no these look really really good so like brand new can't believe i've had them on for like two weeks all right i'm gonna stop rambling let's start with home goods i'm gonna go with this little bag because it's not really exciting um the first thing in here is this drying mat i got this for my kitchen to put my dishes on i currently have a christmasy one it's gingerbread and I started putting up valentines in my kitchen. My my kitchen is uh, red and pink. And I just saw this was red and it had flowers. I would have liked for it to have hearts on it. But floral is still fine for um, Valentine's Day. So, And the red, it'll make it pop in there. So this is an extra large drying mat. And I really like this brand. I've bought this before. It, it says the original dish drying mat. Um, this is only $3.99. What I like about them is they're reversible. So you can put it on the all red side if you want. And they're very thick. So these really, really soak up a lot of water. And they're machine washable when you're ready to uh, clean it. Or like me, switch it out for the holidays. Because I do switch mine out all the time. Next, I found this super cute... Um, triceratops i don't know i don't know which dinosaur it is but it's a little dinosaur this is a hooded blanket actually first i thought it was a towel but i was like that's a really soft towel and then when i read it it's a blanket um this is for aria's um godmother's son he's turning uh three uh this month and this was on clearance for ten dollars i got aria one too but she already opened hers hers was gray i wish they had pink but they literally had two on the shelf both on clearance for the ten dollars one was gray and one was blue she's a girl so she got the gray one he's getting the blue one but this thing is so soft like literally it says it's by the brand cloud castle and this is what it looks like super cute um i can't really see the regular price the regular price they put like a marker through it it looks like it says 19.99 so yeah her gray one was in here but like i said she took it and the other thing that's missing out of this bag is i found some pot holders um they were heart shaped and they said exo on them and it was a two pack so one said exo the other said exo i already hung those on my kitchen cabinets um i like i said i started decorating already and they're red and pink and they just say exo exo but um i had some i had the oven mitt and then I had a towel from last year, but I needed pot holders, and those were so cute because they were heart shaped. So I just threw them up already. All right. Next thing I got is a mug. Of course. I only got one mug. Y'all, I did not feel like shopping. I haven't been out of the house, I haven't gone to any stores, I guess, since like Christmas. And I wasn't in the mood. I was not. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to go all out for Valentine's Day. It's just I don't really feel like buying a whole bunch of decor for Valentine's Day. Like I go crazy for like um, Halloween and Christmas. But Valentine's Day I'm just like hey, I'm going to do the Valentine's Day tree and a few things here and there. But I was not in the mood to shop. I like left and I was like oh, I'm not going anywhere else. Because I was going to go to Marshalls but I was like nope. Um, I did find this cute Happy Valentine's Day mug. It's red lettering, but it's pink inside. This was $6.99. I think the Ray Dunn mugs might have went up. I'm not really sure. Or maybe they were $6.99. But yeah, I thought it was cute because I can have my Happy Valentine's Day mug for Valentine's Day pictures. And I like that it had pink inside. And this was actually at the register because I did walk through the aisle, the mug aisle, and I didn't see anything. And then I saw it at the register. Not the register, the the lane that you're, the checkout lane. Oh my gosh, can I talk? Um, I found this. This Hello Kitty Creme Shop makeup bag. So I, I've seen this like four times already. And I was like, I don't want it. I don't need it. And then today, I, I picked it up and I was like, 
do I want this? And I was like, let me just get it because I keep seeing it and like, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. That's why I'm like, uh, it's kind of big and the bags that I used recently are smaller. So I, I don't really have a need for it other than to put it on the shelf as decor, which is what's going to end up happening. Holy cow. I paid $12.99 for this for shelf decor. Jesus. This was $12.99. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, is home goods like more? Was this like $9.99 at like, was it TJ Maxx that I saw this? I don't know. Maybe I should have waited or picked it up when I saw it originally. I feel like $12.99 is a lot, but it is a really big makeup bag. Next, I found these cute reusable uh, Valentine's Day straws. They have like conversation hearts on them without the conversation in them. They're just like um, plain hearts. And then there's like plant. So there's the white straw with the hearts on them. And then there's pink with gold polka dots. I don't know if the gold polka dots are showing or if they just look pink on camera. But you get 12 straws. They say they're reusable and they were $3.99. I also found the, the actual conversation hearts, napkins plates and the reusable to-go cups i had them all in my cart and i'm telling y'all i did not feel like shopping i literally went and put them back i was like it's like i don't feel like it's valentine's day yet like i'm not i don't even know what i want to do for my coffee bar and i was like i think i found conversation hearts travel mugs last year the travel cups and i hardly use them so they're in the bin so i was like i don't want to buy this stuff so yeah i put those back Actually, this is the print right here. I found this little notebook. Oh, and the pen just went bye-bye. Okay. Oh, it was the top to the pen. So, I found this little conversation hard notebook. This was $3.99, and it has a lot of pages. And it comes with a white and gold striped pen on the side. And, yeah, it's super cute. Reminds me of, oh, it's right there. I was going to say, can I reach it? It reminds me of the Nutcracker one, which was $3.99 at Marshall's. They're the same exact size, same pen, basically. The Nutcracker one has a rose gold pen. Yeah, so they must be, like, the same brand or whatever or whatever. So, yeah, so that was the print on the napkins the travel cups and the plates and everything then i picked up these jumbo mesh bath sponges cleanse and exfoliating um for 4.99 there's a lighter pink one i don't know if camera's making it look light or not but it's a very pale pink and then there's a more mauvey pink one and these are jumbo and they are so soft um and I think it was time for me to get a new sponge anyway. I don't think I've changed mine for a couple of months now. Kind of gross. Um, so I needed to change it out. And yeah, did I say these are $4.99? I was looking for a neutral pack to get my husband because he loves the jumbo ones. And every time I add one to the Walmart cart, they substitute and give me like the 99 cent Equate brand that's like so skimpy. And he's like, this is scratchy. So I think he would have liked these. But they only have pink ones, surprisingly. Um, these, my daughter are go is going to eat all of them. So they had these vanilla and strawberry mellow hearts or marshmallow hearts. It's a huge bag for $5.99. And that's what they look like. They're little pink heart with white centers. Yeah, they have like a little white in the center. They're vanilla and strawberry flavored. And this is a big bag, 14 ounces. Ounces. She's been loving marshmallows lately. Like, she's still eating my peppermint peppermint ones that's on my coffee bar right now. Um, I found these, and these were, like, screaming my name. They were like, Evita, psst, psst, come over here. Y'all know I love me some bad salts. So, I saw these on the end cap. Um, this one is Deep Sleep, and it says, Breathe Deep and Wind Down with Jasmine, Lavender, and Sandalwood. And this one says, Time Out unwind and de-stress with geranium nutmeg and patchouli they were 4.99 each 
um, 35.3 ounces and they say limited edition so that got me even more and I can't wait to take a bath I'm probably going to take one tonight because I just love bath salts so much and lastly in here I found these super cute Ray Dunn um, ornaments Valentine's Day ornament set of six. So this is what they look like. Kiss me, true love, cutie pie, hug me, the little cupid. And I think this one up here in the corner says be mine. So they're red, pink, and white with little pink bows. Super cute. And I got two packs. Um, these were $9.99 each. One is for me and one is for somebody. Y'all already know who. And then... This I threw in a bag because I did a Target pickup for one item. They must have came out to bring me my bag and was like, you lazy moat. Yeah. In my defense, it was two items. They canceled the other one because it was not in stock. So, yeah, I had no choice. I had tried to get the pink and white uh, mini Stanley cups because I have the 40 ounces. And I was trying to get the smaller ones for my daughter because she's in love with my cup. And that thing is bigger than her. And they had it in stock on the website. So I put it in my cart along with the item I'm going to show you guys. And then they canceled it. They said it was um, not available for pickup. Like they wanted me to go inside, I guess. I don't know. But I wasn't about to go inside. Um, the day that I placed the order, I, I was on my way to work. Um, so anyway, this is the Native Candy Shop Body Wash. I was... I saw this and I was like, that sounds good. It's strawberry and vanilla taffy. And I heard a lot of good things about this native brand, like to, about the deodorant, especially. I haven't tried any of their deodorant or body wash, but this is supposed to be um, really good. It's sulfate free, paraben free, dye free, and fel, fel, fila latte free. Did I just make up a word? Because I said latte and I know that's not it. But anyway, um, the ingredients are really good. Let's give her a smell, shall we? Does it have a thing in here? Oh, I opened the lid and I can smell it right away. Oh, that smells so good. This smells really good. Oh, it does smell like candy. So yeah, they had another one. So I, I guess candy shop might be like the the like theme but then you have to look at the scent under it strawberry and vanilla taffy because they had a blue one and i don't know if it was blueberry and something but that one was also candy shop but i got this one so really excited oh and i think they had gummy bears and it was like a colorful packaging so yeah so i threw that in the home goods bag because they were next to each other home goods and target so i did my pickup after i left home goods all right Let's get on with, you know what? Let me show you these really cute shoes that a brand sent me, a company sent me. Um, I already took them out of the outer box. Um, this is the outside box. These are Air Jordan 1 mids. And I got these sent to me by a brand Up Shoe. So that's their information and they have a coupon code regular for $15 off and these are so cute so cute look at these so they're like pink and white and then like a more mauvey pink up here super cute I can't wait to wear these um, if you guys know I hardly wear shoes with laces like I'm a slip on slides kind of girl um so <laughs> we'll see what outfit I come up with when I wear these but they're really really cute obviously I'm probably gonna wear once jogging pants or something but yeah I thought they were so cute all the like the two different shades of pink mixed together the pink laces I like that it's like white here but then it's pink on the very bottom love that for me um, these are a six and a half youth and boys 
I told them I was an eight, and I think that does come out to be like an eight in women. Yep, they fit absolutely perfect. Uh, I'm about to fall my butt off of this seat. Yeah, this is hard. I need to do some yoga or something. That's not going to be in my resolution this year. But yeah, these are really, really cute. So make sure you guys check out Up Shoe Are You. If you guys are interested in some super cute um, Jordan shoes, those are really pretty. Um, next, let me show you guys what I got from Bath and Body Works. I went in and I think they were having their semi-annual so. Um, my daughter already took two things out of the bag that I got for her. I got her a full size sweet pea body fragrance. Um, she loves coming in here and spraying my perfumes and I had a free item and I was like let me get her something that I would like for her to use and not like my vanilla strong scent. So I got her sweet pea. And then I got um, and then she also got um, a dinosaur pocket bag holder and you press a button and it roars and I used a free item for that too because it was like $13. So, I had two free items. I used them both on her. And then, this is an entire little bag of Wallflower plugins. I'm just going to quickly show you guys the ones I got. I got Cuddle Weather. Um, it says Warm and Comforting. I got Warm Vanilla Sugar. Uh, Eucalyptus Snowfall. That smelled really good. Um, this is another warm vanilla sugar. It didn't have the tag, but I know it was. Um, this is Falling Flurries. That says Holiday Favorite. The Eucalyptus Snowfall does too. Uh, another Cuddle Weather. Hey, this packaging is completely different from this one. Interesting. Why am I trying to show y'all stuff sideways? Get it together, woman. You guys see? I hope um, that I got them for the same discounted price and they didn't. Because they had like specific ones were like $3.25 and then the other ones were the regular five for whatever. Another eucalyptus snowfall. A eucalyptus mint. Can y'all tell I like eucalyptus and minty stuff? Um, Black Cherry Merlot. I love that one. Uh, another eucalyptus snowfall. That's the one I think I smelled and I was like, ooh, that smells good. And another Cuddle Weather. So that's it. Um, three, six, nine, ten, eleven. I got eleven of them. So those are that and then I got I bought a couple of these because these came out to a dollar so these are two of the Mary Cookie hand creams these were a dollar from $8.50 couldn't beat that and I also got two of the lip glosses they were also like about a dollar for lip gloss in that Mary Cookie scent. This as well. Pumpkin Cupcake Gloss. And their glosses are $9.50. Well that longer tube one is. the This one was $8.50 originally. Um, I got this for me all. And I said I gave Aria her stuff. I gave my husband his stuff too. I got him a couple of these. Because these were on sale too. This is coconut milk hand cream. Um, normally $7.50. What did I do with the receipt? I had it a second ago. I think those were coming up to like $1.87 for the coconut milk from $7.50. And yeah, I got a couple of those. And I put them in his car already because he likes those. I'm trying to see. There was something else besides the coconut milk one that I bought but I don't see it right away and then I got 
these oh on her on her pocket bag I got her a hand sanitizer too um oh there's another lip gloss in here this was a strawberry pound cake and this one actually came up on sale too because I was like this was the only one in the bin and I was like does someone just stick this here and she's like no it's coming up too so I guess because of the packaging um, I got five hand sanitizers, but there's only three here. One was my husband's and one was my daughter's. This one is the Strawberry Snowflake. Warm Vanilla Sugar. And, a uh, Champagne Toast. My daughter got, like, Strawberry and Kiwi or something. And I think my husband, I got him, like, one of the men sent, like, Ocean or something. Uh, and then... What I really went in there for were the new pocket bag holders. So this is the little gummy bear guy, a little pink jelly thingy. This was $4.95. And then I didn't see this one anywhere. And so I got in the store. I was like, oh my gosh, a cute little pink rainbow. It says press to activate light button. Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. She is totally, my daughter's going to take that from me when she sees this. She's going to be like, mommy, I want it. And then I got the cute gold and pink double hard one. This one's like a clip. This one. <clears throat> it's like the one where you just snap the hand sanitizer on there like that. You get clips on. That's so cute. So yeah, so that's everything I got from Bath and Body Works. Next, um, pink. I went into pink store. I went in to return my, if you guys remember that um, pink velour jump set that I got that said pink on it. It was really, really big. So it comes oversized already, but I... I got a small and I was like, I'm not that small. So I was like, small should be fine. Small was still big on me. I needed an extra small. So I went to the store. It was already on clearance and she's like, it's whatever's there in the clearance section and they didn't have it. So I ended up returning, which I was really sad because I just wanted to exchange it for my size. I really loved that like velour like it reminded me like of a juicy tracksuit but it, it said pink in the back and it was in gold lettering and i was like oh. and then the pants they were just really baggy at the bottom like my knees to like my feet were like baggy and then the thigh area and my butt area was like fitted and not fitted in a good way because like they're see-through and i'm like kind of underwear Am I supposed to wear with that? I'm not trying to be TMI over here, but I don't like wearing thongs too much. And I was like, and then when you do wear them, like, I don't want, like, the back of my skin showing through. They're, like, too light of a pink for me. So, I was going to exchange, I was going to exchange the top and just return the bottoms and just wear the top with jeans or my regular jogging pants. But, they didn't have either. So, that went back. And then, for Victoria's Secret side, not the pink. They closed the Victoria's Secret in my mall, by the way. So, thankfully, Pink let me return them there. But I was like, how dare they close? So, I couldn't exchange that, even if they had it. But I had that, like, rusty orange colored velour suit that I was going to exchange to. That one was huge on me. I think I got that in a smaller or medium. And that was, like, baggy, baggy. And, yeah. So, anyway, I returned everything. I got, like, $120 back. Um, and... Y'all saw this sweater in my last video. I was wearing it. Um, this is just a pink, super cute crew neck. It says pink in these like white puffy letters, like fuzzy puffy. Like they're puffed out and they're fuzzy. And then they have this like varsity stripe on the side. This I got in the extra small. And it's it was regularly $56. And had the red line through it. Um, I think my receipt might be in here. It is. Um, I don't know. Fifty-four ninety-five. 
pink fleece top pullover. It came out to $32.96. Um, by the time all my coupons, everything was applied, I paid $19.45 for it. So, really good, right? And then I got this one. This is a pretty baby blue one. It has like a little V neck here and then it says love pink. And then on the back, it says love pink all the way across on both sleeves and the, the whole back and these are puffy letters too and they're like silicone or something they're not like um furry like the other ones and this i got in a extra small also this was normally 52 and this looks so comfortable i can't wait to wear that that'll look really cute with some light colored jeans or even some dark color because they have the both colors of blue. Heck, it, it'll it'll look cute with pink pants. So I'm probably going to wear it with pink pants. Um, $52.95. This one was $18.73. Then I got this one. <clears throat> I legit have the same matching. Yeah, I can see them from here. The matching uh, jogging pants to this. This is just like a pink, all pink sweater. The top is like a more neon brighter pink and then if you guys can see the the bottom turns into like a darker color it's like an ombre sweater pink ombre and then the sleeve same thing it's like um brighter pink to like a more darker pink and it doesn't say anything in, oh it doesn't say anything anywhere but the sleeve has a little p i didn't even notice that until just now um but yeah it doesn't say like pink anywhere this is so soft this is the softest one so far and i bought these jogging pants on clearance um probably last year so i'm excited to have the matching sweater because now i can wear it as a set um everything i got is extra small by the way um i just noticed that the sweaters i need extra smalls otherwise they look too big on me um this was oh the little price is ripped off so i told you this one's probably the 1733 one if i had to think so everything was 60 percent off that's what it says 60 percent off pink cell and then i used a 10 dollar card member reward and then a 20 off of 50 reward so i took 30 off basically off of everything at the end and then the last thing I got, I forgot about this one. Oh my God, y'all. I almost bought this one the other day online. And then they took it out of my cart like it sold down. I was so mad. And my dumbass, I already bought it in the store. What? Something's wrong with me, guys. So this one's a, uh, it's, I can't wait until like spring, summer for this one. So it's pink on the top. It goes into like a yellowish, a lighter yellow and then a darker yellow. So it's ombre too. It has that little V there. It says love pink. And then you turn it over and it says pink really big. So this is like um, tie-dye pastel kind of. So cute. It's not even tie-dye. What am I talking about? It's uh, ombre pastel. Super cute. And yeah. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think this is the one I had in my car. I think it had blue in it. I think it was pastel but pink and blue not pink and yellow um again extra small this one was actually 60 regular so that's the most expensive one so far and this one i paid 21 21 for 21 dollars and 22 cents so yeah not bad my total for all of all four of these came out to 83 dollars and i returned 120 back to my card so i returned four items got four back and i ended up getting money credited back to my cart like another 40 dollars so i made out good even though i'm really sad i don't have that pink um velour set they also gave me a 20 off of 50 reward whoa why is that coming off um february 22nd through march 9th is when this one starts and then it says she also gave me a 30 percent off of a regular price item this is january 10th through the 16th so this hasn't started yet today is the 7th 
Um, so yeah, so 30% off a full priced item. Not bad. Plus I also have like, I have a $60 reward. So when I went in there, I had a $40 reward. That 10, the 20 off of 50. And she said that I had used the 40 already. And I think I grabbed the wrong one because I had a 40 and a 60. And I knew I used one before, but apparently I should have grabbed the 60 too. So I have that 60 that I'm going to use. I have a bunch of stuff in my cart. Of course I do. Let's go to Hobby Lobby. I'm dying to see what's in this box because I've had it for so long. So this is Hobby Lobby. I placed this order um, a couple of weeks ago. And basically the Hobby Lobby that's closest to me is kind of far. And I just, I feel like I always miss out of everything at Michael's and Ho Hobby Lobby as far as decor because I just... Those aren't stores that I gravitate towards. I'm like more into like Marshalls, Burlington, Ross, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, um, and like I said, Hobby Lobby's another way, and then Michaels too. And I don't go there. Like I missed out on that whole pretty um, <clears throat> Nutcracker collection that Michaels had. I never um, made it on time, and when I did, they didn't have it. So. I was like, you know what, I am going to start going online and placing my orders early before the website is out. So that's what I did. Um, I ordered this stuff on in December. December 27th. Um, so yeah, so they tell you who packs your order. And let's see. It's a big box. It's a pretty big box. So, I know I can see right on top. I got this for my daughter last year. I got this for her again. It's just like um, a two-pack. It says Happy Valentine's Day. It comes with markers. It's just so that it's like a wood heart so that she can color it. And then I can save it into like my box of my daughter's decorations. I found these dinosaur stickers also that I'm probably going to put in like her little Valentine's Day little box or something that I do for her for Valentine's Day. She She's obsessed with dinosaurs. These were $1.99. I got her two packs. I thought those were cute. Um, Jesus, there's a lot of stuff. I'm happy this didn't break because it's literally just laying there. So this is a little ceramic envelope. Pink envelope. And you can put something down in there. That'll be cute. Like... You can put whatever you want in there. I have no, um, like, I haven't planned what I'm going to use it for, but just to give you guys a visual, like, you can put little cute stuff on there. So, I don't know if I'm going to put this on my coffee bar and put, like, stirs in there, or if I'm going to put it on my vanity and put, like, makeup in it, on a shelf. I don't know yet. I just, they've had this for a couple of years now, and I've never picked it up until now, so... Also, I don't know if they've changed the kissing booth signs or not, but this is also something that I've missed out on for years, and I'm happy I finally got it. The little kissing booth in pink, and this was $3.49. It says, 25 cent kissing booth, pucker up. Super cute. I know um, Shari took a picture of that with some MAC lipsticks, I think last year, and I was like, that is the cutest thing, and yeah, I missed the, um, I missed it last year, um, I say Shari, like, all of you guys know her, she has a YouTube channel, so, um, look for her, but her name is Shari Francis on Instagram, um, this says, P.S. I love you, it's like a little wooden sign, another little envelope, I love the little pink and white balls, and it has this, like, natural burlap, string i'm probably gonna hang this um above my coffee bar somewhere uh this was 6.99 i thought this was really really cute i love it like i love anything that has hearts on it i'm obsessed with hearts um oh no this is probably gonna go in a coffee bar i forgot about this one or this one might go in my kitchen this says cupid's coffee bar love is brewing and it's a natural wood color and it has red hearts 
So yeah, I think I got this for my kitchen, but we'll see. I don't mind the natural color in my room either. Um, this is this was three ninety nine. It's like a little cheap wood. Um, next I got this. Um, this is Kissing Booth, twenty five cent, or was this the one that she took the picture with? I can't remember. I think it was this one. Now that I'm looking at it. This was $5.99. This is another little kissing booth. It says it at the top. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's like in white. And then right here, this little heart has the $0.25. Cent. That's cute. And it like stands up like that. This I got for my daughter for Valentine's Day for her little card exchange at school. How many are in here? Oh, there's 14 cards, 14 ropes, 14 dinosaurs. She has 16 kids in her class. That's why I got two. Um, plus, so she can give her um, cousins um, cards too. They were $6 for 14. And it says your Dynamite Valentine. And it comes with little dinosaurs that you attach. Like different colored dinosaurs. And then the cards are up there. It's supposed to look like that once they're attached. So... I thought they were cute to go with her little dinosaur theme. There's like blue ones, purple ones. Okay. <clears throat> and then, oh, I got these super cute letters. This is another thing that I've seen a couple of years now and I've missed them. It's a two pack for $6.99. So it's like a little wooden natural color wood ladder that says be mine in pink and then there's a pink one that says xoxo with red letters and they're really cute $6.99 love that so maybe i'll put the the wood color one down in my kitchen and then put this one in my room we'll see y'all i'm running out of room okay and then what are these Oh, cupcake picks. I'm sure we're going to make cupcakes. So I got these. They just say Happy Valentine's Day. And there's 24 of them. And they're just red picks. Now, for my Valentine's Day tree. Last year, or the year before, not sure. I did manage to find the pink sequin hearts, the jumbo ones. This year I got the red ones because I think I'm going to do my tree pink and red this year instead of just mostly pink. So I got the same exact ones in red. So if y'all remember the pink ones, I got those, was it last year or the year before? I think I went last year and it was too late. Like I missed all of the kissing booth and the ladder and all that was gone. But they still had some of the hearts. So, And I think I got six. So I got six red ones this year. These are $2.99 each. I just like the size of these. They are so big. And like I said at the beginning, I love sparkly and blingy, so all the sequins just bring me joy. So there's three of them, and then there's another three, so I got six to go with the six pink ones, so that's going to be pretty filling on a tree. And then I got these pink hard um, picks that I'm planning on like putting in different areas. Um, I'm probably going to pick a few of them into the tree and then i also thought about we'll see if it works i thought about sticking a pick like right through the top of the tree and making it a valentine's day tree or stick them through there somehow just so i can kind of keep this out because it, it's like valentine's day is still in winter and this like makes me think of snow so i'm probably gonna try and keep those out um and add some picks to it um, then they got something here wrapped up. I forgot what I ordered. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. I did get it. Yay! So this is like the little mini pink gumball machine. It's a little ceramic mini jar and it has a pink heart on the top. And I think you just pull the top and you fill it that way. It says five cents. So it doesn't have like anything that you turn. You just have to open it like a little candy jar. So cute. And this was nine ninety nine. 
couldn't remember if I got that or not. And then the last thing in here looks like a mug. This is very similar to a mug I have already that I think I got at Walgreens years ago, but it's smaller. It's a pink mug that says love everywhere. It doesn't say love everywhere. It says love and it has hearts everywhere. Like it'll say love here, love there. So cute. This was $7.99 and this is really big. This is... 19.6 ounces almost 20 ounces i got it because it says it was dishwasher and microwave safe and food safe i'm tired of buying mugs that you can't microwave any mug that has gold in it i stopped buying because you can't microwave them and i drink coffee really slowly i know i have a mug warmer but <clears throat> i only use my mug warmer when i'm filming most of the time I, I warm up a cup of coffee like three times. My husband's like, Jesus, can you finish that coffee already? But I drink my coffee really slow, okay? And I do. I microwave it like three times. And I hate when I have a pretty mug and I'm like, this is going to the microwave. And I'm like, I can't microwave this, so I have to transfer it to another cup. Stupid. And then I have to wash two dishes. No way, Jose. So I stopped buying all the, like, gold foil mugs. Like, I don't care if it's cute anymore. I'd be like, mm-mm. You can't go in the microwave. You're not coming home with me. But yeah, this is really cute. It's really big. Like I said, I have a mug very similar. It just doesn't say love. It literally just has the hearts on it. Same color pink, same mauve pink, same hearts. It's just doesn't say love. <clears throat> and I think I got that one from Walgreens. And I've had it for like four or five years. <laughs> so did I need that one? Oh, wait, there's something else in here. Did I need that one? No, but I got it. I forgot I ordered this. I couldn't decide if I wanted this or not. I guess I bit the bullet. Yo, I forgot about this. So this was pricey, and I think I had it in the cart, and I was like, I don't have a coupon. And I was like, should I wait until... And then I was like, no, I shouldn't wait because I'm going to miss it. Like, I miss everything. So this was $18. Um, but look how cute it is. It says Valentine's Day Cupcakes. It says strawberry frosting. It has like, it's just so cute. It's adorable. So I am pretty sure I was going to put this in my kitchen um, somewhere. But yeah, it has on the back. You can hang it with this little thing, which I'll probably use. But it also has this one too. So cute. I can't believe I ended up getting it. I guess I knew that if I waited, I was going to miss it, and I need that for the kitchen, so. All right, that was Hobby Lobby. We got a couple more places left. We got BoxyCharm, JCPenney that we're doing now. This is some Juicy Couture stuff that I saw online that I was like, I need. So they sent a couple of bags. So this first bag looks like it has one thing in there. Oh my gosh, I forgot about these two. These are so cute. These are like super cozy socks. Black and pink. The inside is all pink. Oh my gosh, these are so nice. They're thick. I can't wait to wear these. These say they were $18. Pretty sure I didn't pay $18 for them, but yeah. Um, I'll tell you guys right now. No, I won't. <laughs> they didn't put a price on there. Um, so that's that bag. And then let's see what's in the other one. Let me put this blade down before I cut my eye out. I got another pair. Forgot about that too. So these are pink with white. They're pink with hot pink letters. I don't know if it looks red, but it's hot pink. And it has like a creamy colored 
These are so cute, y'all. I cannot right now. And, oh yeah, now I remember because I got an email and they canceled the other part of this. I hate it when it happens, when you find something and you're so excited and then one part sold out and they cancel it. I got this brown juicy jacket. Um, wait till you guys see the back. How cute is that? It's like, it's not, um, it's like actually printed in there. It's not like, um, on top, whatever you call that. And this is like a rose gold color. It says Juicy by Juicy Couture. And I'm trying to see what size I got because this looks small. It has a rose gold zipper. It is a, a actual velour track jacket. Oh, this is a medium. I was like, this looks like an extra small. Yeah, I'm probably going to be wearing this unzipped with a shirt underneath because I don't think I'm going to be able to zip this baby. But we'll see. Maybe I'm just exaggerating right now. But yeah, I had got the brown matching pants and they didn't have them. They canceled it. So at least it's the top and I could wear this with any other color pants. Um, you know, black pants, pink pants. Pink goes with everything, okay? So yeah, so that's cute. That's all I got. Um, the socks and that. I was supposed to get the pants too. They had so many makeup bags, you guys. And I wanted to get a few, but I was like, I need to stop. There was no, I hate it when they do that. This bag had no receipt in there. And the other one only had the one item on it. And if that jacket doesn't fit me, I need the receipt, people. Alright. Well, let me show you guys what I got from Michaels. Because I have been dying. So, open this. Like, so bad. Trying not to cut it. <laughs> Yay. Yay. My 2023 planner is here, you guys. My life has not been complete because we're seven days into the new year and I had no planner. I mean, I had it. I just couldn't open it because I had to show you guys first. So I always buy the Happy Planner. I think this is my fourth year now with the Happy Planner. Um, This one, as soon as I saw the pink and the red, I was like, I want that one. It says, dreams don't work unless you do. So cute and then it has the red here you can change these to any color I have a rainbow set I have a pink set I have a glitter set um, but I'm gonna keep the red this year and then I'm not gonna like open it open it I just wanted to show you guys yeah cuz I got to take all this off but it is um, a tabbed planner it has all the months and then each one at the beginning of each month that has like some kind of inspirational um, quote, like a little cover sheet for that month. I can't really show you guys what the whole thing says, but I'm just trying to show you guys that they do have that in there. And this is a monthly and a weekly, so um, it has all of that. And then I also always pick up, whenever I get my new planner, I get new sticker books. So I got a couple of sticker books. Uh, I got Cheerful Seasons. This one has 608 um, stickers in it. Um, I got it mostly. So like here's the Valentine's Day ones. Valentine's Day slash Sweetie's Day I guess. I always try to get the seasonal ones because like here's Fall. Halloween. Oh my gosh, this one has a little gingerbread page. It says gingerbreads for Christmas. And there's more Christmas and whatnot. 
there's winter wonderland so yeah so this is like a season one and then this one is an all christmas themed one because we love christmas so it has like words it says christmas tis the season cheers eat drink be merry bright um so there's a couple of pages of like the big words and then there's just a bunch oh there's some more big words i love that <laughs> then there's these like little ones little little things like advent calendar holiday menu let it snow jolly fun little the snowman different little things and then has like all the alphabets this one's cute i never got this one before oh my god then it has like the little ones but in like different colors that looks fun oh peppermints and wreath numbers like if you wanted to renumber your pages oh look at how cute the little starbucks drinks are okay so that's the christmas theme one and then this one is more seasonal ones but this one looks fall themed especially like oh my gosh these are so cute yeah so this is like halloween and then look at how cute different fonts happy fall happy thanksgiving um and because this is season um fall halloween is in the fall time so you have that and then you do have like your thanksgiving sweater weather so so yeah so i'm gonna have fun with my planner i'm so excited that it's finally here because like i said seven days into the new year and i'm like trying to pay bills and I had a doctor's appointment today. Thank God I didn't miss it. That's why I went to Home Goods because I was out already. I went to the doctor. Um, if you guys are curious, because I think I've talked about it on my channel, I have high blood pressure, and the doctor said my blood pressure is doing really, really good, and she didn't see a need to change my medication. So she told me to keep taking what I'm taking, and she'll see me in six months. All right. So what I got from BoxyCharm this month. Boxy sends me a box every month, so this was gifted. Um, the theme this month says so fresh and so clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. Right away, I got excited because there is a huge Elemis Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. Y'all, I'm obsessed with toner. I say it all the time. I love toner. And I have not got fully into Elemis products um I've heard they're very very good I have a few but I haven't got to try them yet but I think the first thing I'm going to try is this toner so this is what it looks like I don't think I've had a spray toner before um I usually have the ones that you put on a cotton pad this says moistened cotton wool pad and wipe gently over the face so you can still pour it. I guess you just spray it onto the pad. That is normally $37. Um, like I said, I do have a couple of products by them also that came in boxy. But because I have so many face cleansers, toner, serums, moisturizers open, I put stuff that I'm not about to use right away into like a bin. And then when I'm done with it and I need something to go to that bin. So I have not used the stuff that I have yet by them. But I think I'm going to put that toner. I think it's going to skip the line and go straight to my uh, skincare cabinet. Next, I got by the brand Persona uh, E-Balm. I also haven't tried too much Persona products. But I do have a highlighter that I really like. That one of my friends got for my birthday or for Christmas. One year and it actually is like one of my favorite highlighters. And I had never heard of them until they gave me that. So... This is in the shade Manifest, and that's what the packaging looks like. <laughs> oh, that's that's red. That is red. I love a good red lippy. I wonder if this is like a translucent red or very pigmented red. This says E Bomb. Oh, it's a tinted lip balm. Let's try it whoa so i guess like 
if you want a hint of color, put it on lightly and rub it in. I like stuff like that because I like red lipstick and I like red lips. So to be like a red lip balm, I like that. It's hydrating. It's a sheer lightweight tinted lip balm packed with nourishing ingredients designed for feel good comfort anytime, anywhere. I will say I I did that and I got like um like an oily kind of a like taste in my mouth. Like I feel like whatever the ingredients are like shea coconut oil whatever like it, it's kind of like a greasiness that i feel like i i can taste it basically uh that retails for 22 dollars. if i didn't say that um next there's wander beauty in here this is the sweet escape palette this is 42 dollars, and it says exclusive drop I really like Wander Beauty. Now they are a brand. I've tried. Okay, there goes the rest of the box. I've tried a lot of the products by them. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's like a little cardboard palette. And. Ooh. That's pretty. It has a mirror. And it has these shimmery purple shades this darker one and this lighter one that right away i was like ooh, and then it has these two gold shimmers it has some like neutral mattes in there that one too this one up here is like a lighter shimmery color so it's a very different i don't have too many palettes that have all of this like purple in there that in this is like a a matte um purple too so this is kind of cute. I really, really like those gold shimmer ones. Ugh. In my head, I'm like, do I need this or should I put it in a giveaway? But it's like the the gold and the purple shimmers are like making me say, you definitely need it. Because it's different. Mm. Mm. Sorry, just trying to pick up the rest of this box. I decided to jump out my lap. Um, Lovecraft Beauty Plasma Gloss, $18. This is a new launch. And I can't, I can't take myself right now with this red. I like red, but, uh, when I have, like, eye makeup on and mascara, I look kind of pale for this right now. Um, so this is an eye gloss in the shade Quasar Goo. Quasar Goo. And it comes in like a little jar. Oh, it has a, it has one of these on there. And it is actually sealed. So I guess because it'll probably dry out. And this is like a metallic-y copper color. If you guys can see it. And it's an eye gloss, so... Um, not something that I use too much of, so I'm probably going to stick this definitely in a giveaway. That's why I'm not going to, um, open it up. It says it's all over gloss. It's multifunctional, buildable gloss that adds dewy iridescent glow. Oh, where did I see eye gloss? It says plasma gloss. Um, it says you can use it on lips, lids, cheekbones, or anywhere you want to add shimmery highlights. So yeah, I'm still going to add it to the giveaway. And then uh, the last product in here is by the brand Fira. And it's a liquid eyeliner, $20. And it's a new launch as well. And I'm also going to put this in a giveaway. I told you guys before, I don't do liquid. I use um, like gel and cold eyeliners. Liquid always um, messes up my eyes i just can't do it it says it's 18 hours that's what the packaging looks like i won't open it just in case like i dry it out or anything but i'm gonna put it in a giveaway i do have a Too Faced um liquid one that i am holding on to because every now and then i'm like i'm gonna try this and i need i need to have one just in case that day happens and i i just like do it so perfectly 
I've heard that the Too Faced one is a really good one if you're bad at putting on liquid that that one kind of um, helps. So yeah, so that's everything that I got from Boxy this month. Thank you to Boxy as always for sending that over. Um, I think we made it to the end of the video. Oh wow, look at that. We're over an hour. How? Do I talk a lot? I'm sorry guys. I tried. Um, I blocked my coffee. Jesus, I'm my brain. Oh, I was like, did I drop some, like, glass stuff? All right. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything. Looking at my floor, I don't want to miss anything because the last couple of times that I finished filming, I'm like, oh man, I forgot about this. Um, I still have my uh Christmas gifts on the floor that I haven't put away. I put away most of them, but I still have um all of my Stanleys and my Starbucks tumblers just laid out on the floor. Like, I have nowhere to put them, y'all. Um, so I showed you guys my pink. My Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Boxy. Yeah, we got through it all, girl. I had something in my vanity. No, I didn't. My vanity was cleared. We went through everything. That's it. Um, So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you to Up Shoe for sending over the shoes. Um, I will have their information leaked, link, leaked, linked down below you guys if you guys are interested in shopping from them and yeah look at me looking around like do i have anything else i love you guys if you guys made it this far then i appreciate you guys so much because i know i talk a lot and my videos are always so long so thank you so much for you guys um and yeah if you're still here and you're new then I hope you guys enjoyed. Please consider subscribing, like I said. And I will see all of you beauties on my next video. Cheers. Bye.